Greetings ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the long dark. We are here today because it's winter and I thought hey let's give my audience a special winter only series which could change if you would like to see more of this. This game is absolute devil. And for that, we'll be starting at the Ash Canyon. We are playing on the normal difficulty, Voyager, I, I think that's how you pronounce it. And you may be asking, why did you pick this game? Because it fucking slaps, bitch. This game is the devil of the survival games. Plus, it's against harsh winter conditions. Which during the winter season, I'm sure a lot of you can relate to. And we'll be playing as the male, because I'm used to it. I played this game a few days back. Alright, I played this back in the day quite a lot. That's why I actually got those unlocked. You get these just for playing and doing stuff. As you can see. User consume, spend 20 days outdoors during the blizzard, and so on and so forth. Matej Winters... Matej Winter Special. <coughs> In the... First of all, I show you how to get a backpack. If I don't die, <laughs> excuse me, I have a bit of a cold and I, I just feel a bit sick. It's hard to explain in English. On long enough time, line everyone's survival rate drop to zero. Well, I cannot argue with that because, yeah, it's kind of true. Welcome to the long deck. I started in Ash Canyon to show you where to go if you want some pretty nice food. This region is as empty as you would think. That being said, don't be miscouraged to experience. Experiment a little. See this? We got a hunting knife. I've been thinking about moving from place to place, with my main base being at the, one of the locations that I don't wanna spoil just yet. In this game the winter is quite a bitch and can kill you really really fast. Thus making it the perfect winter series if you ask me. What have we here? Nice ammunition, ammunition and cargo pants. Those cargo pants are in a shitty condition. However, I would need to repair them if I even think about using them. A few sticks and stones to break my bones or my back, more specifically. This region offers a lot. For those who look. I'm playing on the normal difficulty so there's a lot of loot. Wildlife is acceptable. And winter is a horror. But we got some good loot lying almost everywhere. I don't like playing on harder difficulties than this. Especially because I want this series to last up. Uh, few days at least. I uh, I enjoy playing on the lower difficulties in most of the games anyway. I don't know why, I just like more chill gameplay rather than more action packed full shit die or die. Uh, so that's kind of fitting with my styles of videos which I wanna get to. I'm just talking to fill the time and make some interesting commentary anyway. 
So, my style of videos are usually long gameplay videos just to watch for a longer time. I've been thinking about playing more indie games like Scampton the Great, but I still need to learn how to cut my videos properly, make them a bit shorter and nothing interesting actually happens. If that's what the audience wants, I would really like to hear any recommendation how to do that. And in, and as you can see, we got a few meters down in the right side corner, left side. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I still don't know the difference between right and left. I, that, that's one of my weaknesses. I can't remember that for the life of me. Left or right, this way. <laughs> Basically, see those little things above the ha the hard bar. Those are condition. The spoon is the temperature. I is how tired we are. Drop uh, drop of water is. First and our and this shit is hunger. So basically, we gonna keep those up as much as we can. Or we are gonna die painful death. But we already started this survival series with some really, really nice loot. Those. Things are lifesavers and a half. We could get a bit warmer, but I don't really have any food to go off. So I'm gonna have to sacrifice a bit of my good. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus. Bit of my condition to keep walking. I apologize for my illness. I'm getting slowly better. I'm still able to record. And still able to walk, duck, lie down, speak. Ah, yeah. It's mostly just coughing. So I do apologize if that starts you in any way, or shape, or form. I saw a bridge there, so that will be our destination. I play the game quite a bit, I know where some really nice loot is. Those are new birds, you can make some pretty decent meals with their flesh. Flesh. Why does flesh sound so wrong while meat sounds way better? I I don't get it. It's the same thing. How how does it sound so I don't know, I, I guess it's just the context, more than anything, big flesh, requires hard shit for harvesting, which I don't really have. My, my, we are quite high, and I can see something there. See that waterfall? It seems like an interesting location to get to. So let's get to it. No wasting time or I'm dead meat. Yes, in the long dark you can also run. That's really important. But it takes a lot of your energy away. But it's a game changer to move fast. Every decision matters, and I hope we don't die the first day in this game. Because I'm gonna be honest, I planned this to be a whole series for all the days. Episode a day, as they say. <coughs> Keeps the boringness away, or something like that. And I'm gonna die. I really wanna get back to recording now. I got a better microphone and better PC, 
So uh, I hope the recordings will end up being way better for my dearest audience members. Huge shout out to those who comment, like and do all of that. I really appreciate you guys. Even though it may seem like a little to you, it really helps me grow. 20 subscribers is quite a bit. So thank you all so much for staying with me. Did I just really came, came back? Yep, I sure did. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I'm gonna die the first episode. Game over. I just... My, my guy, I, I don't know how can I be such a moron. Alright, we made it down safely. Somehow we are still alive. I, I, I don't know how, so please don't ask me any questions. I'm just happy to be alive at this point. <coughs> this place should have some more loot, right? Those can actually really fuck you up. I don't recommend doing what I'm doing, but I have to be entertaining. If you enjoy chill gameplay, get this game and learn it. Learning takes a lot of your time, yes. And you will die a lot, yes. Those are two very legit and fair assumptions, because they are gonna happen. And there's nothing you can do about it. But in the end, you learn from your mistakes until you can actually get somewhere in life. So cold, I'm warming up again. And maybe not freeze alive while we are at it. Goal of this series is try to beat Signal Void and make pancakes is the second main goal because without pancakes there shouldn't be a game yes they added a new cooking system and holy shit after trying it for, for a bit I uh, I tell you what it's absolute fire The new cooking mechanisms slap. They are absolutely gorgeous and amazing in so many ways. And with that, there's another cave. You don't need to worry too much about being frozen alive. You should say <gasps> fry bar. And the note, guiding my train. Somebody left a pry bar here, and something to eat, and a coffee. Ah, someone's stash. This game might look a little off to most people, but I wouldn't call it too bad. Oh, we don't really have that much to go off, eh? Uh, I'm gonna show you a basic crafting system then. And with that... It's mist outside. Lovely. We are gonna try to start a fire. Just to get a bit warm before walking away. But we can't stay here all day. <coughs> just because of our supplies currently. So we need to get a move on as soon as we can. 
But you know what, we can probably stay here for an hour. Getting some rest. While sitting by the fire. <laughs> I really hate when my allergies kicks kick in. Wrong button. Make up. We are alive. And bam. Weather looks real nice. I'm almost not freezing. Let's not rush this because the weather is actually decent. I have no reason to rush. This is actually edible. Let me just like point that out. I normally don't keep like 90 of them with me. <laughs> I keep a few when I really need to, but other than that, I don't really eat them. I wouldn't see myself eating them anyway, in the long run. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I am so sorry for my illness. I. I, I I really wanted to get this series on the way anyway. <coughs> it was my big plan of a winter series and it's happening no matter what Mother Nature told me. I don't care if I got two stage cancer, I'm recording this until the end. Also, huge respect to those who beat cancer. That was a joke. Please don't strike me dead. I beg you. I know it's a stupid joke, but I need to make some. If you want some entertainment. And there's a sign. God must have left it here because I don't see anyone else coming by. It looks like we are on a hot new trail. Uphill. Of course it's uphill. We should be able to climb this. No, we need to get some rest. We cannot climb this. I did it. It should it. Let's hope we will wake up alive and not in the blizzard. Oh great, we are hungry and thirsty, nice. Remember our little cuck? Surrounded by snow and nothing to drink. Yep. We need to get up as soon as we can. We just got lucky. We actually survived that.
Come on, baby. I didn't sleep for this long just for you to die. Oh, great, we made it home. I'd lay down right here if I thought I'd ever wake up again. That place right there looks like where I should be heading. Anyway, let's see what we have here since the sign pointed here. Hi, Mellow. I would call myself a jolly fellow in this high mellow because I'm gonna die anyway. Why not be jolly when you want to? And bridge with the book and so much is nearby. I really don't like this. I don't have phobia of high. I have a little phobia of heights, alright, I'm gonna be honest. There's no point of lying here. Our episodes will end. I've been thinking about our episodes because that seems like a good enough. It seems long enough for one nice episode. Keep in mind that this region is unforgiving and that's why I pick it as the first one. I want our gameplay to be entertaining and not the same boring simulate walking. With that being said, I uh, have no clue what I'm doing or where I'm going, so let's hope I made it safe somewhere. Why did this lead to a dead end? No, oh, this is a life end. This is a life and happy end. There's no death in sight. I am not going down. This is a nice, lively area full of nice, lovely nature. And I am definitely not gonna die. Not today, Satan. If you get the reference, you get the reference. I really hope my mic and everything works better for uh, you ladies and gentlemen. And everything in between. I don't care what gender you use. But I will respect it if you told me told me what you should what should I use as a pronoun. Pronouns are a really interesting new thing. They existed for a long time. It's just how you address someone. But I am not a native English speaker and I have a real hard time with thinking of sentences that would be grammatically correct for they them pronouns. Not she he. I guess that's just our education system because it's shit. Honestly, our education systems are outdated as hell. I don't care what anybody says. Those system ju systems just don't work. You're supposed to make the lessons fun and 
students to be actually interested in knowing whatever they are doing. Shouldn't be just explaining the subject. It, there should be a reward for getting the questions right and the whole system is just rigged as hell. It shouldn't be pissing me off as much as it does. This actually leads somewhere. Lucky me. Let's hope it's not my doom. Day. You will die if you don't warm up soon. Should I stay here tonight or should I keep pushing my luck? It seems like a safe place to stay. Just tonight we are sleeping in a cave. At least it's a roof over my head. I can probably start fire too. All right, let's start a fire. Keep in mind that the long deck will probably end up in me dying in some painful way. And if not, I'm gonna be pleasantly surprised. But don't, don't bet on me actually living through this. I can definitely see why. In this game it's do or die. It's usually die or do, most likely. See? He knows what I'm talking about. Uh, I can probably eat something. Let's take a look around before the water is actually bad. Need some time to cook. Might as well collect what I can do. This place is something I never been in. I'm gonna admit. So I'm kinda new to this location too. I hope you don't mind me being a... Uh... How do I put this? No.
This is how you usually pass the time. Let's stack up on torches before we get going. And with that, let us go. I uh, don't see myself as a long, long deck chat lonely. <laughs> But I could see this being like a winter special from now on, if you would like to see more. Long Dark is one of those games that just slaps. You don't even need to be good to enjoy it, you just need to know somewhat what you are doing. It could le lead to some really nice rewards down the line. If you even, you don't even need to balance it. You can play on few difficulties. I was really happy that I survived a week on the easy difficulty. If I'm gonna be honest, that that's to this day one of my biggest achievements. It doesn't seem like a lot, but this game is absolutely cruel. Not in the bad way though. <coughs> it's a survival game that just doesn't take things lightly. Either you try to live or you die trying. You can also keep a journal which I've been thinking about doing. I really like those roleplay videos back in the day. Like, day one, I woke up in the middle of the cold Canadian wilderness. I have no clue how I got here, but now I need to try to survive. You know, something like that to keep in the journal. It sounds lovely. I hope the new mic sounds good to you. I really do apologize for my sickness. There's not much I can do. I Oh! Did we actually made it to somewhere? Exciting. Minor for... Guys. I would hate to be that guy. But we made it to somewhere real nice. Hi, be away for a while. Raid my gosh if you please. Hey, thank you. I really appreciate the permission. So this place used to be an old mining town, eh? Let's see what we can find. Simple tools. I can repair a lot of iron stuff with it. Cloth. Other than that, it's nothing. Borg bench. You don't see those often. They are useful, but I don't want to use them. Not with my... Oh! Who are you? Did you die here? I'm just gonna search it. Land fuel. Could be useful. Hey, that light on my grave situation. Hey, <laughs> get it? Grave? Yeah, I, I know it. I'm not funny. Leave me alone. Trying. First aid kit. Which is actually real nice. Well, we found ourselves a little hut on the side, and one sign pointing somewhere. With that, welcome to our home. Or Alright, this definitely ain't our home.
Lot of gold, eh? I think I can use this. And our first gloves were here too. Oh, sweet. Wait, I don't see too much right now. Let us fix that. That's better. And some free food of the shells. Someone was either in a rush or... That'll come in handy. Well, it does seem kind of useful. And with that, may I present our new gloves, new this, and the new socks. This game is absolutely lovely when you find some good loot. It really just fills you with the love and appreciation you need. Feel free to wait my cash. Well, thank you, and they like actual instructions where to go. I mean, I will rate it anyway, I just need some in. Ah, who cares, let's get going. This sign leads somewhere, so let's follow it. Is that a fucking bear? Or oh, it's just unbearable for me, isn't it? I guess you can say I will barely survive this. Ah, hey, I, uh, I still can bear it. If you... Yes, I am making puns because I am nervous. <laughs> Carefully walk around the motherfucker. We don't. Where is he? Just be... I'm, I'm sorry I'm silent in these situ situations, I usually am silent. It's one of my instincts to just stay and shut the, shut the fuck up when danger arrives. Excuse me for a moment. I really need to learn how to cut my videos later down the line. Just because of this alone.
Uh, yeah, I'm sure he could eat anything too. How about if we put your running in the test? Can't feel my hands. Did I actually unsmart that fucker? It would be absolutely unbe unbelievable if I did. Collect what you can and get a move on. Oh my god, we survived a bad encounter. That's amazing. And it's snowing again. Maybe it's cold outside and I will die. All thanks to this. But we survived a bad encounter. That should count for something. And this must lead somewhere. I, I am really fucking glad. Uh, we made it, baby. We are absolutely killing it. To God to think, but it don't think. Act. Act about this. While you were thinking about it, I acted. We will. I need to drop something. We will. We will. Rock. I will gladly keep this mountaineer rope on our expedition. This shit is heavy as all hell. But it has its perks. One of them being. You can attach it to a rock without the rope and climb down it. It does seem like a small perk, but trust me when I tell you it's really useful. How does a rabbit on the menu sound? Let's see. Zlomit mukek. Escape as I <gasps> look. Can't be too careful. We found a bow, baby. Big shot. Come on. How lucky can we actually be? It worked. I do agree you on that. We found a bow but no arrows, so that will be still a problem. We got the gun, but we are missing the ammunition, sort of this situation. We got half of what we need, we just need to fix the other.
Day two. I found a bow, and I am. And that being said, we uh, got our first recording of our adventure. <laughs> How about if we slept here for an hour? Just to be safe. Let's go. I'm so lucky I found the knife, else I would have way more trouble skinning those rabbits. Every tomb here is important and you should manage them somewhat. But for now, this is interesting. Oh. <laughs> Late? No, calm down, calm down, calm down. It's just a stray way. Follow the dangling carcass of the bridge. <sighs> we made it. Fuck you, Mother Nature. I really hate that sector. I know it shouldn't really bother me, but it does. It really does. My... I, I feel big just walking back down it. Do you hear what I hear? It sounded like a wolf or some sort of canine. Keep in mind that this game is mostly chill, but it does has its intense moments. I really wanted to push something out. Our first goal is getting tactical backpack. Which as you can see I'm doing really well, because I'm still alive and walking. <sighs> Also, there, there's a little trick for you. You can light torch of, of thrown torch. If you throw, throw a lit torch, you can still light it of the remains of that torch. It's a really useful trick for uh, keeping fire going on your way. Uh, that also means you need a lot of torches if you wanna get the fire all the way. Or a few torches with 100% condition. That being said, don't mind me taking a few of those. Tactical backpack allows for way better inventory management. Because it has more space. New episodes coming really soon. Honestly, I would see it like episodes <laughs> a day. Go. I do apologize if one episode comes out after midnight or whatever your time is. That's not my fault, that's YouTube processing the video and later down the line it's me being in a different time zone than you. But I hope I can get one video a day out. Let's see what you think of this series. 
let me know in the comments below what you would like to see me play. Lungdag will be our winter special more than anything. It will be dedicated only for the winters. New update is coming soon, which I also want to check out. I, I would really like to make this our winter series, something we would play only in winter. You know, just to be relatable and for it to actually fit. Maybe we can play a horror game or two during the spooky season, October. Spooky scary skeletons. Give me a moment. Alrighty, I'm back in action. I apologize for that. I actually learned how to mute the mic. I also hope the audio is better now. This will come in. It sure will, buddy. It sure will. I, I knew there were a few other options. Starting that to weigh me down. Well, let us get a move on. Actually, may I cure those here? Yes, I can. So this cave is technically a place where I can cure gods. Skin. It's important to have a few cured on your way. It can really, really add up to your survival rate. This is uh, also kind of new to me, so you are not alone. Rifle ammunition, but no rifle anywhere. Oh well. Keep in mind that we are kinda, kinda defenseless. Kinda. My main goal is to try beating the signal void later down the line. Never got to finishing the story. I've been also kinda curious how it ends. This game also has subtitles and a few filters to make it look nice. Or at least acceptable. Alright, we need to stop here for tonight. You might be asking why. Well, the answer is quite simple. We are carrying way too much shit. And also we need to get some sleep. And this cave is hot and comfy. Perfect place for some sleepover. I would see it for 8 hours of nice sleep. Keep in mind that playing the long deck can be challenging and dangerous. Mostly for the thing you play as, which is a human. Which I assume you are also human when you play this game. Could be wrong. No racism here. And I, I just assume that you are from this planet if you're listening to this.
<laughs> no racism here. <laughs> like if aliens would listen to some random idiot like me. If aliens were real, of course. I'm not saying that they aren't, of course. If conspiracy theorists are listening out here, welcome. Everybody is welcome, and everybody has their own beliefs and opinions. And I, f and I don't care about any of them. So please don't be offended if I don't take you seriously, just like everybody else. I treat everyone equally. I usually don't care. With a few exceptions of people. Uh, that being said, our next way down is close nearby. And there's a next mountaining rope. Why are there so many mountaining ropes nearby? Hot mountaining ropes near my area, eh? <laughs> Care to climb down? This pack is getting kind of heavy. I bet it is. Meet our good friend Flare. This thing can uh, get any wolf to run if thrown right. I mean, usually it can. I would have said there was a like a way around these parts. It yeah, must be, right? I'm not going nuts yet. It appears I might be going a bit nuts. Oh, here it is. Um, keep in mind that our expedition here is purely to look. I will end the episode soon. Because it's been a whole hour of me talking crap. After we get our third goal, which is tactical backpack, I will end the episode there. And there is all very good. You see this weather? Perfect look. It's perfect weather because it's still not the worst weather we could have. And you may think to yourself that, do that it doesn't make any sense. And you would be absolutely correct. It shouldn't make sense to begin with. There's the weather I've been talking about. Look how shitty and terrible it actually is. Welcome to our first blizzard. I hope you enjoy it. Or uh, it can be a still a bit worse. Of course, I'm sure Long Dark will get to screwing with me again as soon after this. K. 
can't feel my feet. I don't think you'll be able to feel anything sooner, anyway. Why is the feet your main concern? I would be more concerned about Mother Nature trying to kill me, but no, you do you. Our next stop is the ledge here. There can be some good loot, and if nothing else, we then rush to the mountain town. Damn, I'm freezing. Damn, we are dying. Problem? I don't think so. Get a move on, everything will be fine. The rest me bro, everything will be perfectly fine. See that? That's that curves. Of a man that didn't trust me. Well, the loot wasn't the best. Fuck it, let's get a move on. I know everything will be fine, that's what, why I'm here for. Oh, the weather didn't come down a bit. Looked like it did, it didn't. Uh, fuck. Me. Lunchbox. Something good for me? Of course you don't. Mining camp. Definitely looks like one. Never been to one, but I'm sure it does. Please don't die. I uh, think about ending this episode real soon. Just. So get ready for the finale of today's episode. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Get lost. And welcome to our destination. Need right about now. Well, you are in luck. This place usually has some pretty nice food. Go with it. We will need to take our pants and a few other things off. There's gotta be something useful in here. Oh, axe. Hot shit. Call. And what do I see? New book to read. That's nice. Well, now on to the main part of the hour. Let's go. Damn it. See this? Up to my ankles. This is water. This could damage my clothing if I didn't take uh, it off. It's a really nice trick, how long it actually makes you actually play the game. The way they... Too much so, stuff to carry. Shut up, it will get better sooner. Anyway, as I was saying, long dark makes you do this. Okay, it doesn't make you, make you do this, but... Your uh, pants and socks would be wet as hell. I need snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. You can still eat the snow if you wish. I'm not gonna stop you. Now, very, very. Oh yes. It's just a way forward and to the left. And with that, so cold. Shut up. 
I am the one commentating here. Shut it. And with that, welcome. See this dude? More rifle ammo. No rifle nearby. Why? Why are you doing this to me? I I know I shouldn't be mad at getting ammo, but you don't know how irritating it is to get half of the Rubik's cube. And with that, welcome to our main point of interest: tactical backpack. This stuff will come in and crampons, new combat pants, peanut butter, butter water, sweet water. This pack is getting too heavy to carry. I'm glad I have a good pack. And we got better carrying capacity. With that. I wonder who owns this stuff. And with all of this being done and dusted, I want to say huge thanks for watching today's episode of The Long Dag. I will end it here. Thank you so much for watching today's episode on the Long Deck. It, it's been a pleasure being your host, Maciej Nentwich, signing out. Have a great day, ladies and gentlemen, and to remember to stay warm out there during these harsh conditions. Thank you all so much for joining me today, and have a nice day. I'm out.